That seems to be on fire. Did she steal my hourglasses? Where am I? Where am I going? Where am I going here? Down here. Hello. Oh. I was referred to the machine room. The chapter Battle of the Birds is now available. I don't want to fight birds. I want to be friends with birds. And sit in chairs and roll around. This is nice. Boring. Not not really a fan of the sitting in chairs thing. Good for screenshots. I'll give you that. That's probably the main function. What is this? Down. Down? Down? Down. No down. What is this? This lever does literally nothing but alter how bright the nearby panel is when the power is on. It's stuck on really bright. Okay. Good machine. Very important. How about books? It's a bookcase, also known as Cool Word Zone, or a thing you can't even slightly fill yourself, Stephen. You'll never find a publisher, and all that time you spend in your study and time you could spend with your kids, <gasps> depending on where you're from. Well then. Is there a person named Steven on the team? Ah yes, the VGS-1, the fastest, most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up. Heck yeah! Power it on! A word of computing delight awaits you. Greetings user, undefined user. Welcome to your home computer experience. Open application. Fun. Open application games. You have selected the text-based appli entertainment application. Open application. Heck yeah! You have selected yes! I will choose a game for my miserable library of purely non-visual fun. Oh boy. I have selected Corgi Quest 7, the leashes that bind. You are a Corgi. Your name is Alan. You must severe the magical lease holding you to the plane of nastiness. Exits are north, east, and south. Go... go... east. You cannot actually go east. You have been tricked. You are where your quest began. Exits are north, east, and south. Go north! You go north! There's a tiger. Exits are south and advisable. Go south! You are where your quest began. Exits are north, east, and south. Go south! There's a set of gates south. They are guarded by a prismatic wolf. Exits are north. Let us bark! Good day, wolf! Bark! It is really quite sonorous. This prismatic wolf rapidly shifts between spectrum visible and, invi and invisible. You're a dog, so you really only see two colors regardless. So whatever I guess, it flees and the gates are now unguarded. Probably come back if you left though. Go souther! You go souther through the gates and arrive at a grassy clearing. There's a large canyon here, exits are north and south. Jump it! I should've looked. I didn't see look was an option. I didn't look at the option that was look. Try to jump the canyon. It's possible you didn't know how big canyons are. Maybe that wasn't appropriately described. It was very large and measurably deep. Should you possess the immense means to do so, try again. Maybe no. <gasps> no! Greeting. Oh, come on. Go back. Go back. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Go, not, uh, talk to Tiger. Your attempts do not sway the tiger. The conflict he has seen at the paws of your kind has given him strength such that the weight of your words is negligible. He mauls you very badly. Try again. Go south. Do a little bark. Go souther. Let's check this out. There's a slightly dry grassy clearing. A large sweeping canyon separates it from another glassy clearing to the west. There's a character in that clearing. His name is Seven Conclusions. Jump to conclusions. But that is a very big chasm, is it not? Pass a full, small field and arrive at the camp of a wandering blacksmith. In a large field, he introduces himself as Barry! Barry the blacksmith. Exits are just about every direction, I guess. It's a field. How's it going, Barry? Barry! Barry! Boora! I may have mentioned this earlier, but it is a stretch to describe the noise you make as talking. Oh, right. I'm a dog. He offers to make you a weapon and properly does so. It's a sword. For dogs. You have a dog sword now. I can kill the tiger. I don't want to jump. Please don't make me. Patient looking for his man. Wolf, bark again. 
Keep going north. Keep going north. No, wait, I didn't mean it. Uh, fight. You battle the tiger with your claws. It is no match for your skill. Tigers and will continue to be very endangered. You'll be tried for your crimes. Try again. So, okay. I mentioned this earlier, but it is a stretch. Yep, 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 yep. Probably does so. It's a sword for dogs. Look. Okay. G look. Jump to con right, 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 right. Jump to conclusions. You attempt to jump to conclusions, but instead make a hasty judgment without considering the facts. Hello, Reddit. <laughs> you plummet into the canyon for several seconds before seven levitates. What? Before seven levitates you out on their side? Seven is a wizard. What? We're on the other side of the canyon. Seven conclusions is here. Dressed very badly as wizards so often are, there's a wizard tower to the south, but it doesn't belong to them. Theirs? Theirs, they both look incorrect in capital letters, is on the plane of yellow. Exits are south, but you could go east, but that would be swiftly followed by down. Hello, Seven? You make dog noises at Seven. They understand completely. Great. Nearby wizard tower would very likely hold a way to remove that leash, they say. All right, I'm trying to remove a leash, aren't I? There's not much else around here, boys. They continue. It's pretty sparse out here. Uh... Again, didn't, didn't have a go south. You arrive at the tower. There are wards protecting it, and boy, are they doing that in a passable manner. Seven is here as they followed you. Ho ho ho! There isn't much else going on. They say exits are north. Uh, bark. You bark. It is impressive on a scale that future civilizations will struggle to truly comprehend. Many scholars and academics will insist first-person accounts are fabrications, and that such a bark cannot have ever occurred. Seven's descendants will suffer for libel. Libel successfully. Uh, get this six times. Wild, right? What? The wards disintegrate away into the spell weave or something, and the tower is open. Ha ha! Enter tower. You enter the tower in all caps locks. It's airy and well lit, but that just makes it more obvious that the furniture is less a hand picked furnishing and more a collection of needed objects that someone came to own as they became necessary. You know what I mean? No. They kind of match the effort was made to pick similar darkness woods, and the style aren't completely dissimilar. So kind of like a cheesecake factory. You can easily tell from the wear and tear. Some have been in use longer, though, and the brackets holding the longer shelf on the wall are brass, whereas most of the other metal trimming in pieces are iron. Seven has been knocked unconscious by a bugbear while well, you looked at the furniture. Exits are not available, given that you're in, like, a fight. Used a sword. You wield, somehow, your sword for dogs in the manner to which you are accustomed. Which, actually, you know how dogs use sword, right? I don't need to describe it. You slay the bugbear. Yes! The stairs, which do not match any of the other woodwork. Uh, this is very long for a game. Seven is on the floor, but they're probably fine. Go up. Oh, God. Go up the stairs, all the way to the top of the tower. There is an altar and a magic book. Exits are down in varying speeds, depending on if you go a different direction first. Go Dennis? Look. You look really hard at the literally two things here. The altar looks like the regular kind, not the bad cult kind. Okay. Book feels pretty magical, but you can't read, so exactly in what way it's magical, you can't really tell. Sure wish Seven was here. Real trooper, that Seven. Uh, let's go down. Go down again? Try to go down the stairs, and it doesn't work because they go upwards. Go up the stairs, all the way to the top of the power. Okay, go Dennis? You focus your inner spirit and take in the magical energies of the book and the altar. We're speaking the word of power. Power. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you feel tangible reality slip away. Okay, that's a pretty powerful word, power. In an instant, you're pushed. Dennis ways, you arrive in? Thank you for playing this special. You no. Closing text-based entertainment application. Greetings, user. How dare you? But give me the internet. Let us surf. You have selected web application. Surf. The tide is low right now, and we cannot surf. I am done with this. Good day. I want you to play that piano, but I cannot. What, what's this? Oh, that's the bookcase. All right. 
it's another computer. It was pretty expensive, but who doesn't deserve to treat themselves every now and then? Oh, thank God. Yikes. Ow. What about this? Is this like... It looked important at the time. Chapter 2, Battle of the Burbs. Legal status, totally not allowed in. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Ooh. I really like the music in this game. Dead Burb Studio. That is a that is quite the this is quite the hallway. I want to go. That's a lot of cars. How do you how do you drive to the parking spots illegally? Birds don't follow traffic laws. That is not a bird to the left. This movie studio is too big for the both of us, DJ. Grooves. I love The movie his voice. should be made by real birds. Are you a real bird? You moon penguins are just gonna write some loud, noisy treble. If I wanted a bunch of picnics to dance around while on bird seed, ha! I'd visit my grandchildren. Picnics sounds highly offensive to birds. That sounds very racist, Mr. Thing. <laughs> nonsense, darling, nonsense. He looks like King DDD. You Owl Express birds are just gonna record an That's an owl? train related western. You've done so for the last ten years, darling. I like train well, westerns. No, we haven't yet. Those look like good Boom. movies. The right one's about a cactuar from Final Fantasy. This year will be winning the annual Bird Movie Award, as our new movie props will bring in the audiences. Ooh! These shiny things fell from the sky. They will light our movie sets and fill them with glimmer. Can confirm, birds do like shiny things. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well, this time around, we're also spicing it up with our newest movie props! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hourglass oh, he's got three. We'll be the grand jewel in our train heist western. That guy only has two. Or does he have three? What the what? You no good, dirty picnic. How you dare you? You our props. I would never, darling. Clearly, you're the one who took inspiration in my oh, flashy God. new props. Oh, God. Something broke. Fancy props have destroyed everything. There we go. Whew. Oh, that does it. Get out of here with ya. I've got a movie to record. Look less like a director and more like a busboy. Or like a taxi driver. Or you know what? The people that take your bags at a hotel. Fine by me, darling. But we'll be the ones who win the annual Bird Movie Award. Mock my word. What category of Bird Movie Award? Is it just Best in Show? Yeah, see, he only has two. I think. Oh, yeah! Let's see how well you do when you can't get into the reception. Got him! <laughs> where, where, did he, where did he have those? Oh, wait, uh... Shutting the picnics inside the studio will force them to work harder. Yeah, maybe don't do that. All right, time to go, owls. Let's make our killer movie. Yeah. Oh, and uh, receptionist, can you please close off that vent already? I don't want the smell of penguin to come anywhere near my crew. This owl is... The most racist bird character I have ever met. How dare he? Hello. I wanted to ask this reception guy a question, but he hasn't acknowledged me at all. Uh, but now I've been standing here for so long, it'd be awkward to start up a conversation. Oh. I really suck at interacting with other birds. Oh, I understand. It's okay, guy. All you need to do is die. You just gotta die. You just gotta die. Destroy the peer pressure! Okay, fine. How about you? How about oh, you, hey guys? Little chirper. They're recording right now, so no one's allowed in. They're only insured for bird staff. Letting you in would be a liability. Is that? Don't even think about sneaking inside. The voice sounds familiar. See, that's all you had to do. You just had to jump on this stand and create a nuisance. What do you have to say, gumball penguin toy sun- Oh, sunglasses! Yes. 
I am ready for the movies. Look at me, penguin. I am so cool. You see my fingers here? Yeah. You see how they're snapping? Oh. That is the universal bird sign for beat it. <sighs> how and dare fingers you? fingers have taken a liking to you. Look at them go. Snap, snap, snap. You catch my drift? Yeah. You want to do some jazz? Some jazz! Some jazzes of death! Creepy shopkeeper who I don't like talking to because you look like a demon. Badges are totally in right now. That's what I've been told to say. So make a purchase, please. He just seems like a drug dealer. Are badges... Are badges like cocaine? These are really expensive. Hold and release for a beam attack. Ooh. And I can swear. Plug your ears. Now you can only hear vague mumbling. Why would that be $800? Also, it's got flies on it. Too much. I don't really get this feud between the conductor and DJ Grooves. Like, why does a train operator and a disco guy want to compete? We're all birds here, right? Shouldn't we cooperate? See, your boss is really racist, though. Why aren't you I should be know. in charge? I guess cooperating is kind of stupid. Oh. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Just ignore me. Uh oh. The owls have good ideas, but they're all they're all scared of social interaction. Uh, hi there. I'm an express owl, which really just means I ride the owl express that the conductor runs. Okay. I need he to, is a conductor. to get to work, but the conductor makes unexpected stops all the time. Why does he make movies? I have no idea why we're at a movie studio. I need to be at work in 15 minutes. I guess that answers my question. He looks like he could be in one of those like blue companies where it's like five guys singing. Huh? You but this guy. Movie prop that Are you the kind of person that sells movie props on eBird? Yeah. I don't know what eBird is. Did I talk to you already? Can I squish you? <gasps> I didn't expect that. I wanna, I wanna do like a, a squeaky combo. Squeaky combo? No. I can do it. I can definitely do it with double jump. Come on. This has to be like some some player goal. Three! I did it! Oh, I almost got four. Alright. Three's good enough. I'm happy with three. Let me get these jewels. And let's go in... I was supposed to go up here first. Let's go in the van. No entry while light is on. Nah. I can't see light. Well, somebody's gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I was just going to make that joke, and the game did it for me. Is there anything else? Ah, nah. I don't have to actually pay that, right? This is... Oh, is this a throw-out thing? Is that what that red light is? Uh -huh. To me. No humans allowed, only birds allowed. I have wings on my hat, therefore I am a bird. Can I kill you? <gasps> okay, that is bad. Oh god. Okay, don't get caught. No more bills. How dare you? Penguin harassment? What? I did no such thing. I did not touch Let's that penguin. This. Wait, who's this? Disrupting studio recordings times two times two. I feel like there's false charges being added onto here. Oh, nope, nope, it turns around. Okay, nope. Penguin, it's not penguin harassment. Your actors, not that penguin wanted to be touched. Let's make this movie happen! Nah. In position! Action! Okay, how... Doesn't look like... Oh, wait, I can go down there. Perfect! I keep forgetting I have sprint. Secret agent at all! Okay, I was not expecting to be spawned right there. Alright, let's try this again. It's okay, we only owe 300,000 diamonds. Okay, that was close. 
I knew I shouldn't have done that. What? 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 I can't turn the camera. Okay, don't break the cactus. There's one right down. Th there we go. <gasps> I was trying to be sneaky. It didn't work. Yeah. Don't find me for that. Don't find... Oh, no. I was supposed to go over there. How do I... Oh, I gotta run and jump. Right. Then he turns. Secret agent. Trick. Parkour. Parkour. Nailed it. Put it on YouTube. Make a million dollars. Wait, can he see me? No, it looks like if I go on... Whoa! Why? Why was that so quick? Could I jump over him? Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, stay on your phone. Keep talking. Perfect. How would I lose health here? Okay, there's more. And I can't wall shimmy. Is that a chest? Magical chest of wonderment. Please be over 300,000 diamonds. That would be really great. That's not diamonds. That's an unrun, un un relic. Might wa match with others. It looks like a really crappy old cake. Uh, can I get over there? I thought I was about to fall to my death. <laughs> no way did you see me. Oh, parkour. Check this out. Parkour! Sprint! Please land. <sighs> I am not so confident with that one. Uh... Are you gonna do fake outs if I follow you like this? Don't do it. Yeah. Uh oh. Blam! Oh no! No blamos. No blamos. What? What? I didn't know such thing. They were sandbags. Sandbag. You can't destroy. Oh, they did explode. Lights. Action! What is going on here? I don't trust this. Can I go over there. You can go down there, and there is a switch. You don't see anything. What does this do? Brings that over there. And then I have to hit it again. Oh. Perfect. Brilliant even. Okay, that was quite fast. Things speed up a little bit every once in a while. They hear me? Is that who he's talking to? I ain't leaving. I want to be a star. Can I walk on this? I'm not sure. That was a little dangerous. It's over here. Something I can press E on. How much money will I lose if I press this lever? No bill. Don't bill me. Don't bill me. Don't bill me. Oh. Okay, it's timed. Got it. What is the sprint button? Shift. Go, 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 go. No bills. <gasps> I said no bills. I said no bills. Why did you bill me? Wait. This might be a problem. I can't reverse this. Don't see me. Didn't see me. Can't see me. I'm invisible. Look at these wings. I'm clearly a bird. I should probably I should probably just like move. Owl harassment. I never even touched you can't just look at me and cry harassment. What the heck is going on here? The snow in a desert? Blasphemous. 
Oh, wait. Let me just do this. Die. Doi. Don't look at me. My face can't be shown to the public. I'm too beautiful. Look at these sunglasses. Okay. No problem. No problem. Hey. How's it going, buddy? Got it. Parkour. Uh... Is yellow good? Beam me up? Nope, no beam me ups. Yeah. Yeah. Can I climb fences? No. He can see. You did not see me! I was not in that red! Yeah. Ninja style. Oh, I don't want to destroy things. I'm sorry. Uh oh I'll pay the insurance. See my lawyer. Boss fight. Hello. Good day, Mr. Penguin. You sleuthy man, you. Magnificent. Stunning. I am. This trophy is everything I desire. Oh. On the shelf in my living room. Of course, this what kind of shelf do you have? Just a plastic replica. The actual trophy is really tiny. Yeah, but you you obviously want that one in your living room. Like, yes. Oh my, oh my, what is that I see? Is it true inner beauty? An innocent soul with a heart of gold? No, I've murdered quite a few people before I got here. I am <laughs> no heart of gold here, buddy. But I am beautiful. With my cool oh, giant no, zipper. It's just a little girl. Hello! I've murdered far more Mafia people for saying less. Oh, wait. You're not a penguin. <laughs> That's good. I could use some non-penguin company around here, as all my penguins are frankly terrible actors. Amazing. Ooh, look at that split. That seemed very painful when he did that Here's turn. Here's the biz. I need your help. Yeah. I'm on a terrible losing streak, and I just have to win this next annual Bird Movie Award. There's no doubt I absolutely must have you as the star. Here, let me take care of this. Oh, okay. He must be rich. We need to give you a bird passport, darling. I should have... Step right over here. If I knew he was going to pay for it, I would have broke more things. But before that... Can I destroy this ugly trophy? No. The most important part of a passport is the picture, darling. You have to look flashy and stunning. Step right over here. Let's take the pic. Let's go. Oh, okay. Not controlling this. Okay, put on a smile and stand still, please. Don't move. Say... Murderer. Take it yet? Take the picture. Take the. Let's see how the picture turned out. <laughs> I'm beautiful, correct? Darling, you moved. The picture is ruined. How could you? I'm sorry. We've got to fix this ugly mug shot up with some old-fashioned photo doctoring. Here. Take these markers and turn yourself into the most stylish, <gasps> fashionable young lady. I happen to know how to use Photoshop. Wait. Hmm. Let's see, first the eyebrows are off. Gotta gotta go to Google, add some nicer ones. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's get a a much larger dot. Perfect. Actually, let's get some square. Some square eyebrows. There we go, darling. Beautiful. Actually, we need to... Gotta erase this. We have to want, have one eyebrow slightly raised in a, like, say what kind of fashion. What they really want is the Super Saiyan orange yellow. Yeah, there we go. Gotta add some spikes. Like this. And we're drawing over the mustache. Gotta get some, some blush. Like, tee -hee, I'm gonna murder you with my kamehame hua. Bigger dimples. Gotta go for the big blush. Gotta have those TN dimples. Yeah. About the nose. 
You know what? Who needs a nose? No nose. Instead, let's have another eyeball. We gotta get that TM, that third eye, right here. And then, you do this, you gotta get that little anime dot thing going on right there. Now, she's in Super Saiyan mode, so the other eyes don't need that. You gotta have the Super Saiyan eyes. Oh god, that's horrifying. You know what? You know what we have with eyes? Smiley faces. Yeah. Bleh. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, need a big smile. <gasps> Better idea. <laughs> I think we're done. Perfect. Yeah, Let's I thought slide so. this picture into your passport, and here you go. One passport for you. Look at that freaking 1080 spin he just did at my amazing freaking drawing. Wonderful, darling. Oh, just wonderful. Meet me at the movie set tomorrow and we'll make you a star. Freaking star. Oh, that was a jump. Hey, what you think you're doing? Making pretty pictures. Oh, you can't just jump in and fiddle with the annual bird movie awards. That's fraud! Fraud! Hey everyone! We've got a fraudster over here! Uh, excuse me, you're talking to a star right now? Oh. Where are my owl guards at? Oh, why are the owls so darn useless? Uh. Alright, listen here, lass. You're in big trouble. If you're helping crooked DJ Grooves rig the awards, I can't take you to jail, then you're got to help me even the score. Uh, excuse me, you're gonna pay if you don't get me a uh, mocha caramel latte on the double. Chop chop, daddy-o. That's right. You're got to be the star of my movies, too. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to sign a contract. Here, hold our newest prop. Practice showing it off and bring it to my movie set tomorrow. You got that? Don't be late. Okay, can do. I will take this as collateral. What? What happens if I... I'm not gonna jump off. I was... If I jump off, do I just have to start the entire thing over? He is very upset about this. 